Hello and welcome back to the Confex Q&A with me, the event director, Jack Newey. Uh, today's a really interesting episode uh, of the series because we are with our host venue, Excel London. So today I'm joined by Nick from Excel. Let's get into it. So Nick, um, why don't we start by giving me an overview of who you are uh, so that the lovely visitors can get to know you and also a bit of an overview of Exo London and um, what the venue is. Okay, great. Well, again, thanks for uh, coming along today. Um, so I'm Nick Coffey. I'm the Head of Business Development at Excel London. Uh, and I've been here for 12 years now. I joined just before the uh, Olympic Games, uh, which we all fondly remember. Uh, Excel, um, many people know, is the biggest uh, exhibition venue in London, 100,000 plus square metres, but it is about to get bigger, and we'll talk about that, I guess, uh, as we go through. Uh, we host currently 450 events a year uh, and welcome over 4 million visitors. Um, and it's a good time to be here, lots of, lots of stuff going on. Great. So tell me about what it is that makes Excel different. Um, well, I, I thought about this question, actually, and, I, I, and I think for me, it's the team. I mean, yes, you know, in terms of scale at venue and, you know, the purpose-built nature, I guess most people now know about that. Um, that's an important point, by the way. But um, but I think what sets us apart is, is the team that we have here. We, um, we're 220 uh, team members now. But I have to say, my time here, uh, you know, we work with some of the most passionate and creative people that I've, I've ever worked with. And I think... I think that makes a real difference because I think that helps our customers to deliver a much better event. Um, and I, th I, I just felt that, you know, nothing, they're, they're, they're so creative. And, and obviously I'm on the commercial team. So, I mean, I mean often we, we sort of sell the dream, I think, yeah. and, then, and then we leave to the rest of the team to, to, to deliver to, it, to deliver <laughs> it, to deliver what our vision is. And I, yeah. and I think we set them with some really big challenges. I mean, we've been extremely busy. We're coming off the, the back of our busiest year ever. Uh, and I think they've just done a, ph a phenomenal job. I mean, in terms of just, you know, the, the way they problem solve, the way they work closer with our exhibitors mm -hmm. um, and, and help, you know, some of these amazing events to be delivered. Yeah. Um, and I think that is, for me, the, the key that really sets us apart, I think. Yeah, and I think coming from the point of view of an event organiser myself, um, it's so important, um, especially when you're working with a venue of this scale, having a team that is personable and, and agile and can put those visions into, into practice and, and bring your events to life is, is, is so important. So, so yeah, no, I completely understand that point. And I think the thing, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm an event organiser myself, so I've come from an events way back, but mm -hmm. an event organiser background. So yeah. I think we get it. Yeah, I mean, definitely. Lots, lots of my team, so I'm even, you know, our CEO Jeremy, of course, used to uh, work over at Earl's Court Olympia, um, and uh, but lots you know lots of us have got organizer and, and venue background so it's that nice sort of blend we, we, yeah. we sort of get it and then i think you know i was sent to a client the other day that you know it's important really important for us to get under the bonnet of a show if you forgive the phrase so it's not just about selling square meters it's about really that's the starting point but it is, it is only the starting point and then it's about finding you know what we can do to 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 help the organizer to deliver the best show possible and that's really getting a grip of you know, what their customers need, what their challenges are, yeah. uh, and how we can use our own knowledge, but also our partner's expertise to help them to deliver that. We've got tons of great partners here that can, you know, that can really help with that. So that's a, a big thing for us. Yeah, great point. Really good point. Um, obviously, I can fully support that with the, the importance of working with your partners closely, yeah. and I think that really helps. So let's go back to you then. Um, give me an overview of Nick Coffey. How did you get into events? What it is about events that really makes you tick a little bit of your personal journey yeah um gosh it's been a long time in the industry I, I, way back i was selling bacardi uh, <laughs> in london uh, i mean legitimately <laughs> yeah no, and um, the back of a van yeah. <laughs> not at all and i got a chance to uh, a job came up at miller freeman uh, of course then turned into ubm mm -hmm. they of course um, now all part of informer um, and i worked uh, initially on the, a, sh a show called interiors which was the furniture show, designed lighting show, design interiors. 
Um, it was a monster. It was the second biggest show in the UK. Uh, 150,000 square meters, if, if my memory serves me right. So I worked on that show for 10 years um, and, and started as a sales exec, then uh, eventually worked up to, to event manager. Um, and, a, you know, brilliant schooling in, in sort of monster trade show. Um, then after about 10 years there, I, uh, I worked for Clarion. I followed a, an old uh, boss of my Clarion. So I worked on their financial services show um, for a couple of years. And then I uh, went to run some of their retail shows. So shows like Top Draw and Pulse, fantastic shows. Still still are fantastic shows now. Um, running three or four events a year um, with them. And I, at that stage, this is 2012, I got the opportunity. I knew, I knew Jeremy uh, Reese, our CEO. Um, and I knew that Excel were recruiting to expand their commercial team on the exhibition side. And I felt I had a good uh, grounding good schooling in exhibitions mm -hmm. um so i came here and that's 12 years ago so i came as uh, an account manager mm -hmm. um i said at the beginning i'm now the head of business development um and it's been a great 12 years i mean yeah. it, the business has changed phenomenally um over that time uh, and it's been it's been fun it, it genuinely has been really good good well just on that point, good little segue for me. Uh, we were going to talk about the expansion and we were offline before we got on camera talking about where it's come from until now, but obviously there's, there's even more coming. So why don't you touch upon what's in store at XL with the further expansion? Yeah, happy to. Well, I think the, the, the key, we, we're investing over 300 million pounds on uh, a venue extension, which I'm sure you've seen. Um, so phase three, we call the Maritime Suite. Um, that's going to be open on the 24th of October this year. Um, so we'll be inviting people along in due course to come and have a look. Um, it's the biggest expansion we've had since uh, 2010 when we opened the previous extension, um, which was the ICC, the International Convention Centre. So it's very much an extension of that. Um, in terms of the numbers, it's, it's 25,000 square metres, a uh, mixture of flat floor exhibition space uh, and dedicated breakout conference space as well. Um, connected directly into the venue so it's not a separate building it's an extension of what we already have um and it's going to be state of the art 5g connected um you know beautiful open spaces lots of natural light um it will well i'm bound to say i think it's going to be the you know one of the best convention centers in the world if not the best um so we're all massively excited about it yeah. i think what it gives us the opportunity to do obviously more space means that we can attract more international events it's, yeah. uh, it's very much focused at the sort of international convention market so a lot of those peripatetic shows that may go to um, you know leading cities in the world um, we do very well at hosting and attracting those anyway but we can now do more of that um, I guess in my world exhibitions I think what I'm excited about you know the venue is often full um, but by creating this additional space it gives me an opportunity to work with my clients to you know, to help them to grow their events by freeing up more of the exhibition space. Yeah. So it's a really exciting time. We, uh, as we sit here today, the most of the structure is now built. Um, so we're very much starting now to um, look forward to the fit out uh, of, of the venue. And we're on track for the 24th of uh, October. So that will be here before you know it. <laughs> Well, hopefully you'll be uh, winning some awards for best venue in the world, maybe, as you mentioned. Oh, I, I mean, we've, so. we've had a look at your uh, trophy ball um, <laughs> this morning. I mean, it's quite impressive. So, yeah, hopefully yeah. you'll be entering for those once it's once well, it's I, awesome. so. I mean, it's really exciting. It's, yeah. it's um, as I say, it's the biggest, yeah, it's the biggest expansion in, yeah. in, in, in sort of 13, 14 years for us. Um, and we're very well supported. So, as you probably know, we're owned by uh, Abu Dhabi. Uh, Adnec, uh, and they've been throughout their acquisition some 15, 16 years ago, they've been enormously supportive of our business uh, in terms of investment. And this is a, you know, another indication of that. Um, but also it's important, it's not, it's not just about phase, well, phase three is a big part of what we're doing. Um, there's lots of other investment around the building. We're, we're very much on a continued process of, of, of updating and upgrading the building. So some of the other sort of highlights for this year, we we spend a lot of money on the dock edge, um, which is just over to the uh, South Hall modules. Um, so it's the, essentially the waterfront um, area of that. So we have a, a growing attractions business. So you may have seen we've recently hosted Jurassic World um, and then the Disney 100 event has, has just finished in the last couple of weeks. So we've got lots of exciting stuff to come up. So that's um, a 
part of my business is now head up by a guy called Damien Norman, who you may know. Um, and it's a real growing part of the business for us, the attractions business. So we attract a lot more members of the public here. Yeah. So there's a lot of investment in that. And, and at the West End, our entrance at Custom House, um, we'll get a, a, a makeover. Um, and then we've invested, you know, seven million pounds into our digital screens to help wayfinding. And so people can have a better experience here. Um, and, and Wi-Fi, so we'll be um, the first, I think, the first uh, five, fully 5G venue by the end of the year. And then, yeah, that's taken a significant investment. So so I think the, the important takeaway is it's, it, it's that continued improvement, um, future-proofing, if you like, so that people know when they're here, you know, when they're running their events here, um, you know, we've got their back and we want to help them to deliver better and better events. And it won't stop. So once this bit's done, you know, we'll be, we're always looking at the next and the next and the next. So... You know, it'll be that continued improvement that we're looking for. Great. So we we're on site today and we saw ICE is being built, which yes. is a huge show taking place here at Excel. So lots of um, hard hats on and, and high visits and lots of builds going. So just talking about new shows, are there any big ones that you've um, secured or new launches that you've got coming up for this year? Any exciting things that are, are new and, and uh, taking place at Excel? Uh, yeah. Yeah. I, I, a lot. Good. I mean, there's probably too much. Uh, how long have you got? Yeah. I mean, yeah, the, 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 yeah. There's there's loads of stuff coming up. I mean, I think a, a sort of a, a sample of a few, I think, which probably sort of shows the versatility of the venue. So, um, you know, new, new is something that's that's common for us. So, as an example, since 2019, we've got 50 new launches or or transfers yeah. from other venues, and that's just exhibitions alone. Yeah. And I just think that's sort of mind blowing. Yeah. That's what 12 is it? 12, 14? It's practically one a month. Yeah. So we see loads of new stuff come in. So highlights for this year. Um, so we've got um, we've got a good launch coming up. So there's a uh, solar and storage launch by Terrapin, um, which is, is has run in Birmingham. Well, this is going to be their London version of the show. Um, I mean that's that's exciting. It's a, you know a, a, a developing new technology. They've chosen to bring that event here. Uh, and hopefully we, that will be, you know, one of the biggest launches uh, in the UK this year. And we, we, you know, we look forward to seeing how that, um, you know, goes uh, goes as as we progress. Yeah. Uh, we got fully charged, uh, which is uh, a, an electric vehicle show. It's going to launch in April, uh, which is really exciting. Um, we've got, um, of course, Formula E coming up again in the summer, which will uh, be the third time we've hosted, fourth time maybe. Um, and this year we'll welcome back ESC, which is the European Society of Cardiology. So that is the biggest single um, uh, event in uh, medical event in in Europe. Yeah, uh, we hosted that previously in 2015. Um, so to get it back um, nine years later is phenomenal. And that will be to give you a, a sort of perspective. That will be thirty odd thousand um, cardio specialists, heart surgeons, mm-hmm. uh, for a huge conference um massively beneficial to the london economy yeah. as well so so it's just a you know i could pick I, I could replace those four or five with with more but i mean it's just this flavor of this the, you know there's lots of stuff going on um yeah great and an event with quite a strong purpose as well um yeah brilliant so i always throw in a funny question uh, towards the end of these interviews just to sort of lighten the mood and, and get our event organizers to to get to know the other side of you a little bit more so why don't you tell me um What's the funniest request you've ever had from one of your organisers at your show? The most sort of random thing that they've ever asked for while they've been on site at a show? Yeah. I should probably be careful with this one. <laughs> yeah. No, name and no names. Name and no names. Yeah. yeah. Actually, I'll tell, you, I'll tell you what is a funny one. It's not necessarily a request, but it is a, it's an inquiry we got. So as you may remember, uh, last year we hosted Jurassic World. Um, did you see? I don't know whether you. Can. Yeah, I saw it all over the media. Yeah, yeah. So the 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 animatronics were amazing. So it was the you know the, uh, the sort of live action, um, and we did get quite a lot of uh, of inquiries from people asking it whether the dinosaurs were actually real. Or not. <laughs> Why? <laughs> they weren't, by the way. Really. Yeah, <laughs> well, that's brilliant. Yeah, but more than a few, <laughs> yeah. would call our help desk and 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 so they brought their kids because <laughs> I think for small kids it was quite it could be quite scary. Yeah, there of a, course. There was yeah. a T Rex in one of the uh, halls, one of the rooms that sort of came over and, mm. you know, sort of lunged towards you. So it's quite scary. <laughs> if you've got a sort of five-year-old kid, it would be quite scary. But yeah, yeah there's quite a few people who, who asked if they were actually real dinosaurs. 
<laughs> that's brilliant right so last couple of questions yep. we've got confets coming up um obviously excel will, will yep. be hosting but also exhibiting um what have you guys got in store at the show yeah, so it's what four weeks away. Yes. Um, so thanks for coming in. You must be incredibly busy with the <laughs> yeah. last minute, the last few preparations for the show. Um, yeah, we're all very excited. So we, uh, we again, we we're going to take a stand. Um, it, you know, we host, but it's massively important for us to be there as well. So uh, we'll we will be um, hosting. We'll be having drinks on our stand. Uh, we'll be very much promoting our, our phase three, as we spoke about earlier, and some of our sustainability credentials. Um, and it's going to be a great show. It's, um, you know, what you tell me is it's sales going very well um, and pre-reg is going very well. Yes. We, we, so, you know, it's, this is, look, we, 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 we value every show that we've got. I mean, the, the sign on the way in says we take every event to heart. So, so you know, we are passionate about it. But, uh, but I think especially with Confex, it's our industry show. So, you know, this is the week that we've got five, 6,000 of our customers and colleagues and friends uh, in the building at the same time so you know we're looking forward to welcoming them and um and we hope the show goes extremely well great so do i but yeah. i know it's looking in a really good uh, position this year lots of exhibitors back um from after covid which is great to see that they're back out marketing themselves and um yeah visitor ships looking brilliant as well so now i'm really looking forward to this year it's going to be it's going to be a cracker so let's wrap things up here um I will obviously be seeing you again in four weeks' time for the event, but why don't you just let everyone know where they can find out a little bit more about Excel London? Okay. Uh, well, the better, obviously, come to Confex yes, is, is the course, key thing. Of course. So that's our message to everyone. <laughs> so we've got loads of stuff going out on you know, our own social media channels. Our marketing team are, are in overdrive on it. So that's my number one message. Um, you know, Come to Confex over those two days and, and see for yourself what our, what brilliant things, not not just Excel, what our industry are doing. Yeah. Um, Obviously, there's a normal sort of channel, so our website is excel.london. Uh, it's fully up to speed. And, and then the, the normal um, social media channels where there'll be a sort of constant stream of, of, of exciting news um, and what's coming up. Great. Thanks for joining me today, Nick, and look forward Thanks to Confex. For Take care. Cheers. Cheers.